Oh, wait, 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 hold on. Oh, no. Blur all this. I forgot to mention at the start, my channel, it's dealing with a little bit of you guys not being notified when I'm uploading. I never ask this. I really never even bring it up. But if you could please hit the dumb bell, it's the only way to assure that YouTube will notify you when I upload hit the bell. This console has had more accessories from both the cool and useful kind to the absolutely bonkers out there kind. Now, typically to get these weird accessories, we have to go to places like Etsy or AliExpress. Amazon. <laughs> I never actually thought of going to Amazon to buy weird switch accessories because I figured that Amazon would probably just have some pretty normy stuff. Oh, I was wrong. I tweeted out and I want to give a huge thank you to everyone that replied to that tweet. I asked, what's the weirdest stuff you can find for switch on Amazon? And the best part, Amazon Prime, baby. <laughs> I ordered this stuff like two days ago and it's all already here. I'm living in the future. So thank you everyone that replied to that post. I bought a lot of stuff. Let's see what I got. A lot of you are probably looking at me like, Wood, I thought you said weird. That's just a switch case. What, really? No, this is a waterproof switch case. In fact, it's the only waterproof switch case I've ever found. This one claims to be 100% waterproof, and I wanted to test it. Since I just started, I'm gonna film that part uh, later, so here's how that went. Should I be worried, guys? Right now, I have a working switch. That might change later. <laughs> It's been a couple days. I really went back and forth on do I just cut this out of the video, but no, I'm I'm going to do it. I have a full jug of water. I have the waterproof switch case and my switch. The switch is definitely in here. One take, not making it up. Please, for the love of God, do not lie to me. <laughs> ah, <laughs> it's all the way submerged. Oh my god! <laughs> okay. That definitely seems like water got in it. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, no. Okay, alright. It, it, there is definitely water in here. There is definitely water in here. <laughs> what have I done? No! What have I done? Why did I believe it? And why did I not get a real towel? I don't know why I thought that would be a good idea. I don't think it's going to break it. I mean, the test is over. The test was a failure. The test now is going to be if this switch even turns back on. So let's hope for the best. This video is sponsored by Boxu, and I've been really excited to open this Boxu because it's filled with Japanese treats. Kim! Right here. Oh, hi. Kim and I are gonna try some of these. Kim's off camera, but you've got cat butt, so that's pretty good. So Boxu is a premium Japanese snack box subscription service that delivers original assortments of Japanese snacks and tea pairings. It's not just a collection of random snacks they found in Japan. They're original snacks, like snacks that you can only get if you subscribe to Boxu. Okay, I don't know what I got. Perfect for the full season. Kabucha pumpkin and pan. I don't know what that is. You want to try it with me? Oh, it's bread. It is bread. Pan bread? Ooh, there's stuff inside. <laughs> I'm on a diet. I can't have this box. Here, try that. Oh my god, there's so much stuff in here. Ooh, white strawberries? This was one of our favorite things about going to Japan. Try any snack that we came across. It's good, right? How did they do that? I expected that to be a strawberry with like white chocolate on the outside. They somehow put it on the inside. It's somehow on the inside. This is actually like one of my new favorite things. Oatmeal looking cookie. You try that. I like it. It tastes kind of like peanut brittle. This is so soft. It's like freshly baked. Oh, this is savory. No, it's exactly like something I had in Australia. It does taste like ketchup. Vit, you know why it smelled like Australia? This tastes exactly like going to the beach and getting a bag of hot chips and dipping the hot chips in the ketchup. Oh, it's chocolate. Oh, I like chocolate. Oh yeah, that's delicious. That's just like when you get an ice cream cone. There's cherries next to the french fries. This is what I love so much about these. It's like, what could this possibly taste like? Every month you receive a box with a different theme. The snacks will always be different. It's a gourmet journey through Japan every month. The box is shipped straight from Japan, 
free shipping to the US. Each box also comes with this handy guide that tells you exactly what you're eating. Hey, if you played Monster Hunter, I tried to make mochi for that video. Not mochi, dango. That is so much sugar. All right, so if you want to get this box and try all this stuff and then more, uh, use my code or the link down below and you'll get 10% off your own authentic Japanese snack box subscription for Boxu. Don't miss out on this delicious snack journey through Japan. We'll keep trying all of this, but I'll let you get back to the video. Thank you, Boxu, for sponsoring. I really appreciate it. All right, bye. Can we actually test this now? The anticipation is killing me. Yeah, it's fine. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Wait, hold on. What is happening? No. I'm, uh, I I'm, um, uh. All right, uh, pause right here. I have to completely derail this video for a second. Just so you know, in this moment right here, that switch is dead. It would never turn on again. That night, however, I decided to stream on Twitch. And I asked my friend Spawn, who's a tech wizard, what he thought of the situation. Yo, what's up, bud? What do you do when you dunk your switch in a bucket of water? How much water? A lot. Wait. Like completely submerged? Oh yeah. But... Do you unplug the battery? Oh no. That would unplug the battery as soon as you can. It's easy. It's right there once you open it. Okay. I don't know how to do anything like this, but I was scared that something might happen if I didn't take the dang battery out. That's not the face of a man that wants to do this, but I did it anyway. I quickly discovered that taking the battery out wasn't as easy as everyone was making it out to be. It's just not budging. So I looked up a tutorial online and I found iFixit's video. It looked very easy in their video. Something I would come to realize was a blatant lie. iFixit's video just skipped over the part that there's a ton of glue on the back of the battery and you need to dissolve it somehow. Even later that night, I tried ripping the battery out with my bare hands. This battery is not coming out in a million years. I'm gonna break the entire unit I have put so much pressure on this. So now that we know that battery was never going to budge, you can imagine my frustration when I used the recommended card. It's, it's just bending my rewards card. And then a plastic prying tool. And it snapped that. So now, out of sheer frustration... <sighs> I, I don't know what to do. I grab something much sturdier. A pair of metal pliers. Yeah. Apparently sharp pointed metal pliers and a battery isn't a good mix. So I was quite clearly done, but the internet wasn't. The next day I woke up to a Reddit post in R Watch People Die Inside and an article written about me in Dex Dex Dexato? Dexoto? It doesn't matter. I think disastrous attempt is a bit much. At this point, I just wanted my Mario Switch fixed, and I'm friends with the guys at a local game store, so I decided to take it in. Hi. What's up, guys? I broke it. <laughs> <laughs> Can you fix it? <laughs> Okay, so to start, I was making a video. I had a waterproof case, were, were apparently. You, were you taking a tub bath at the time, or? No. <laughs> so this is me trying to take the battery out. All right. Yeah, the sparks are bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least this guy was having a good time. <laughs> so I signed away my name and number, and they told me they'd give me a call in a week. Uh, but believe it or not, the very next day... <laughs> So I think I'm cursed, and I wish I was making this up. This is my other switch. Nothing's happened to this one. I haven't dunked it in water. It's refusing to charge, and when I plug it into my dock, the dock's just flashing constantly. I tried plugging a third-party controller into the dock the same time as the switch. It threw the power in the switch, and now that switch was on the way to being bricked too. Unbelievable that I would end up on Twitch two days later doing the same thing. Fortunately, this time, I was just opening it up to try cleaning it. And after rubbing in some isopropyl alcohol, I came to the conclusion that, yep, it's dead. <sighs> it's been a week and we're back at Retro Madness. They told me it's time to pick up my red switch. I'm hoping that means it's fixed. If it is, they can fix this one now. <laughs> Can't wait to see the reaction on their face. Remember when this video started as me buying weird things from Amazon? I swear to God, we're gonna get back there. Hey, how you going? All right, Doc. <laughs> That's the bad news. As seen on the video, yes. the water damaged your Joy-Con. 
Yes. Okay, and now that was not the worst of the damage though, by far. Uh, by opening the machine, uh, you broke the battery connector and blew up the battery. Good news is, all fixable by your, your pals here at Retro Madness. Really? Yep. So we got a, a working machine <laughs> nice. for what you, did, sir. What did you do to fix it? Replace the Joy-Con board, replaced the battery connector and the battery. So it's like still the same switch. Still the just, same switch, just in, in working order for you, for okay. you, sir. It looks brand new. <laughs> Thank you. You get it, brother. <laughs> uh, there is one more thing. Ah. Can you fix this one now? <laughs> I don't know, man. What's going on with this guy? <laughs> uh, so two days after this one broke, yep. that one broke. Okay. Good news. Yep. I learned from this one and I did, did not, not touch it. it. <laughs> right, nice. That one just stops nice. charging. I plugged it into okay. the dog. That's easy. That's easy? Yeah. Yeah, give us uh, give us about a week, a uh, week and a half, man, and we'll get that back to you. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. No problem, man. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yep. I love this guy. I honestly can't believe he managed to fix it. Most people told me that's which was done. Even he was doubtful when I brought it in. So I would be very remiss to not give them a huge shout out and thank you for fixing it. The store's name is Retro Madness. I go to the one on Hewland Street here in Fort Worth. It's actually a huge store that has a ton of collectibles, video games. I've sold stuff here before and my stuff is still in the store. They have some really cool stuff. If you're selling, they give good prices. If you're buying, they have good prices. But obviously it goes without saying, if you need something fixed this is the place to do it and you can even mail in what you want to have fixed and they'll fix it and mail it back super trustworthy guys if you have something that's broken and you were told it can't be fixed give them a chance i'll leave their links and socials down below even if you want to check out their online store and maybe buy a game or two right? i'd appreciate it and i'm sure they would too let's let's get back to what this video was supposed to be <laughs> so this is the i don't know because there's a big sticker in the way it's by imp 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 barely know <laughs> okay let me elaborate what it actually is uh you I don't know what you do actually. So there's a USB port that goes into the dock's USB port, just like that. Now that it's connected in via the USB, it's supplying this strip here with charge so you can clink your little Joy-Cons in here. Theoretically, it charges them up, which I kind of love. Look at that. That's pretty neat, right? I mean, I honestly kind of like it. It's not even that weird. I don't really know why I thought it looked so strange in the listing. It's actually kind of smart. You can charge up more than one pair of Joy-Cons at once, all kept in the same location. Amazon, you did it again. Why did it come with this though? Do you ever just have immediate regret. This one, a lot of people were sharing this. Vive Fox made this joy pad. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's so ugly. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm about to compliment these. Look, they're really hideously ugly, bulky, and wide. So when I had them in my hands on their own, I was like, Ugh. but now that they're actually clicked into the switch, because they're so wide, I feel like my hands are well and truly away from the switch screen. Oh, there's this soft little tippy tap when you're using it. It's actually a really therapeutic sound. Uh, the buttons suck though. The D-pad feels a bit loose. I don't like the back triggers. Oh no. These Joy-Cons have done the greatest sin that third-party Joy-Cons can do. They charge independently from the Switch. So whenever these die, I'm gonna have to plug them into a wall somewhere. Not even with USB-C, which is another sin. If you're gonna make a Switch accessory, make it the same charger as the Switch. It's not rocket surgery or brain science. They do come with their own pretty cheap feeling whatever you call these things. What are these called? Do these even have a name? I've never really thought about it. But as well as that, it comes with its own... Ugh. What is this called? How do I not know any of this? Joy-Con holder. Controller formation maker. I don't know. But for some reason, they decided to put it at a slant. Yeah, I... I... I hate that a lot. I don't really know how to explain it. I mean, I, I gotta be honest, I came around on the thumbsticks. Those do actually feel pretty nice. But as a whole, they cost $50. They have less features than regular Joy-Cons. They feel cheaper. And honestly, what's the point? Next. For anyone 
sat at home as we're three things in thinking to themselves would put weird in the title of this video and so far I haven't seen anything weird. This is the one that might shut you up. This accessory works specifically with only one Switch game. This is a Nintendo Switch Joy-Con skipping rope grip. Jump rope challenge it's called. I don't blame you for missing it but there was a weird free game that launched on Switch that Nintendo themselves actually developed and published. It's just a game with a little cute rabbit and you hold your Joy-Cons and you jump rope. I've been up here complaining about how sweaty it is for the last half an hour and I'm really about to test out a jump rope game. All right, we got... <laughs> Apparently it's a DIY situation. Probably because they don't know if a kid or some stupid adult with a YouTube channel is about to buy it. All right, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do here. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of this, a little bit of that. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. <sighs> that was 32, what does it say? Does it say? How many? How many? How many I do? It doesn't tell me. 59? I. I mean, sure. Oh! That's uh, probably enough for now. I, I, I swear I'm not out of shape. It's just really hot up here. As far as a skipping rope goes, it gets a 10 out of 10. I mean, it does its job perfectly, I suppose. Very weird accessory. Whoever recommended this, good job. Oh, this is cute. This is so much smaller than I thought it would be. I swear, the amount of stuff you could take out of context in my videos. I want to give a disclaimer here. Don't use any kind of dock that isn't the official Nintendo dock. I mean, at your own risk, I suppose. But there's all these horror stories of different docks having different power supply or whatever and blowing up switches. That said, I would probably use this Pokeball. How cute is that? This has to be the world's smallest switch dock. I had no idea it was this tiny. It actually looks kind of cute next to the Pokeball Plus that you use for Pokemon Go. I mean, they're about the same size. And I love that it's red and my Switch is red. A lot of this is really coming together. I mean, even if you didn't really want to use it as a dock, it makes a nice little Switch stand. I mean, it holds it really steady. I love that, actually. This could be official. Like, Nintendo really dropped a ball, pun not intended, here a little bit because this looks really really elegant and sleek. Wait, is this, this is a dock, right? Oh, it's not a dock. Oh, I'm super dumb bum. It's just a charge stand. Oh, well, in that case, it's sick. I really like it. It's so simple and yet so clean. It's like the Switch is just proudly on display. Like it's just, here I am, I'm the Switch and I'm on charge and yeah, I look kind of sexy. Oh. This is one of the sickest looking Switch controllers I've ever seen. That's not like some really cool custom thing that someone's made on Amazon. It would come in three different colors and I really wanted the Galaxy color, but they were sold out of that and the weird paint mesh one. So sadly I had to get the blue one, which has a completely different vibe. Mm. Hmm. Uh. The reason why I wanted this and why I thought it was weird but cool, they have these LED strips around the thumbsticks and when they light up, they're completely programmable with what colors you want it to display. And again, I thought the Galaxy one looks sick. I thought this would look good too, but the print is just not really hitting. It's just not high quality print. So hold the turbo and press L3 and R3 at the same time and double click. Oh, it's breathing. <laughs> There's seven different colors and you can either have it solid set to a color the whole time you're playing. You can either have it breathe between colors so it will light up red, it will light up yellow, so on and so forth. Or you can have this multicolor all around, which looks really nice. But I was kind of hoping it, the colors would breathe and change and maybe move or twist or something, but they just kind of breathe as well. I don't think there's even a way to keep this really sick color scheme on all the time. I think it will always breathe, which is kind of distracting. Kind of disappointing. I think the Galaxy one would have been more exciting. Other than that, I mean, it has a turbo feature. It's really lightweight, which tells me it doesn't have NSC or HD rumble. Probably not worth whatever I paid. I'm disappointed. <laughs> Maybe I won't be disappointed in this controller. This one is actually weird.
Why is my brain doing this to me? Every single thing I bought, I thought was weird while I was buying it. But every time I get it, I'm like, oh no, this makes sense. It's a controller that looks like a bear face. And online, I thought that's weird. And even Kim was like, that's weird. It's probably for kids to sit there and play Mario on a cute little bear controller. And I bought it to laugh at it. It's honestly kind of cute. It's small. The thumbsticks are super close together. It's for small little baby hands. Even the D-pad is little. It's for kids. <gasps> that's kind of sick. So in the picture, the ears are white. And I was like, that's weird because they're not in real life. But it's because they light up when you touch the buttons back here. This is actually pretty quality. I don't know why kids would need a turbo button, but it also has a turbo button on the back. As well as two extra buttons that I'm guessing are programmable. You can map whatever you want to them. The eyes are buttons. His nose and his tongue are both buttons. This is so cute. It even even has a aux point at the bottom to plug your headset in, which this one didn't even have. So it's a much better controller than the other one even. I hate that I'm liking so much of this. <laughs> All right, come on now, this is weird. LED game sword for Nintendo Switch. This is all that's in there. No instructions, just a sword. Kind of cool. I honestly, a little, very weird. Kind of cool. They even thought about having buttons here on the side in case you need to use those. But if you thought the fun ended there, you're wrong. That's it. I thought it would light up all the time, but apparently it only lights up when you move it. Can you even see that on camera? If you thought it was dangerous enough waving your arm around while playing Skyward Sword, try attaching an actual sword to it. Do you need it? No. Does it do anything at all? Not even in the slightest, but does it make it cooler? Also no. <laughs> Seems like a missed opportunity though to not make a shield for the other hand. I'm just sat here with one cool hand and the the other one I'm just supposed to pretend I have a shield. I don't have to pretend I have a sword anymore, but I still got to use my imagination for the left hand. Yeah, I don't really don't know what I was thinking. It's a Mario backpack for your Switch. Why did I think this was weird? I'm pretty sure I showed Kim my Amazon checkout before I hit order. And even Kim said, that's just a backpack. I was like, yeah, but it's it's Mario. It's like you're wearing Mario's overalls, which I'm now realizing, why would that be on Mario's back? It's kind of nice though. It's quality. It smells nice. I kind of like the idea of, not that I go anywhere ever, but of having a dedicated backpack for your Switch where it just sits kind of snug and nice in there. I mean, it's really not that weird. It's just a really nice way of carrying around your Switch. I don't know what I was thinking. I mean, is it a little weird that it's Mario? Yes, but what's qualifying for the videos at this point. This definitely qualifies. Because why? Joy-Con AA battery pack. This is an official Nintendo product too. Nintendo put this out. Literally my first thought just then was this is so weird. So this definitely counts. Comes with the little extra Joy-Con strip dongle that attaches to the strap. And then it's that's it. My Joy-Con is remotely on charge. And the thing that's charging it has a strap on it. It gives me these little buttons on the side. But on top of that, it kind of turns it into like a small burrito. It's kind of easier to hold than just a Joy-Con since the Joy-Cons are so thin. Who is out there playing their Switch for long enough that they need a battery pack on it? Nintendo thought people would need that? Does anyone actually use these? I'm so confused. You've been playing too long. Go to go outside and touch some grass. Alexa, how long do Joy-Con batteries last? The detachable Joy-Con controllers have about 20 hours of battery life. 20 hours of battery? If you're playing your Switch for longer than 20 hours without a break somewhere in there to charge your Joy-Con back up, you have a problem. I don't know who these are for, but they are so unnecessary. <laughs> I've been so excited for this. I do believe this is pretty weird, but at the same time, I think it's kind of dope. Multifunctional game storage and display stand. DS, 3DS, Amiibo, Game Boy. It's really the all-in-one ultimate accessory that apparently comes in pieces and I have to build myself. 
I kind of love this thing. So you can put eight Joy-Cons onto it. You can start putting your Switch games in here. I'm like a kid on Christmas right now. Loose Switch games in the front down here. NES games can go like that. Or SNES games. Down the bottom, you do your 64. Along the side, you do your Game Boy. Up top, you do your DS. And then in front, you have spaces to put amiibos. I really like that. It's really cute. I think it's really clever. It really utilizes this entire space for storage. I really think I bought more cool things than I did weird. The intention was to buy weird things. And I think we did do that. I think I'm just a weird guy who ended up liking a lot of the weird things because I'm weird. Thank you to everyone that suggested stuff on that tweet. If you would. Go follow me on Twitter because I do stuff like that all the time and I'm verified now finally So, you know, it's the real me also while you're helping support the channel I would appreciate it if you could like this video subscribe and I never asked you to do this But can you please hit the bell? I'd really appreciate it